website stylekit.com version 2 is here i added the most requested feature a secondary color palette there is a fully working figma plugin and it's all still completely free let's talk about it in case you missed it i launched a color palette generator web app a few months ago because i was a little bit frustrated that i couldn't really find a good color palette generator that was specifically made for web design so most color palette generators online they were made for either graphic designers or for a product design so they contain too little colors or not the right colors for the web so i wanted something that was made for the web and where you could also see how those colors are being used so the difference in the body and the heading fonts the things on light and on dark backgrounds and then it just generates three light and three dark colors which is a perfect starting point for most websites and often this is enough so you can play around with the colors here and then get a good understanding of how the colors are being used here in the live preview which is the first thing that i improved it now has this box right here and then over here it has an faq which you can open so it looks a little bit more like a real website there is also a, a dark mode and a light mode switcher so if you want to uh, see how a dark mode website looks like then you have a preview over here and for light the same there is also a full width feature now so you can view it in a full width and if you share the link with a client via the share button it will automatically open in the uh, full size so your client will see this but you will see this and the most requested feature was the secondary color palette and it's finally here so now if you add a secondary color palette, you can decide that you want to mix your purple, for example, with orange. Uh, by default, it's not used, but you can choose where you want to use those colors. So maybe you only want to use it for the light tones so that your soft background colors and your icon backgrounds are the secondary color and the rest is purple. And then you can even customize it further by just going in here and then customizing the individual colors if you want. And that's of course super cool, but colors should not only be used based on taste. So there's now also a, a contrast checker built in that shows you all the combinations that are used in the live preview with a score over here. So if you mess up your contrast, then it will give you a warning. So then you know that you have to play around with these values to get all the values in the green. And there's also now a button tab over here where you can simply preview how your website would look if your buttons were fully squared or fully rounded. You can see both of the buttons here in the bottom. And the button now also automatically changes from color if the contrast gets too light. You see, it automatically uh, becomes dark. And I also added some features to the typography switcher over here. So first, you could only select a font for your heading and your body. That feature is still here. You have some previews. So let's say that we want to have a nicer font for our headings like that. But now you can also change the uh, boldness. So let's say you want to make it even bolder. There you go. And you can then see how that looks over here. And there's also a typography scaler, which has the default scalings over here. So let's say that you want to have a bigger font scaling. You can do that over here. You can change your base font. Uh, 16 is fine, but hey, you can do it. And then all of the values change over here and in the live preview. In, in this window, of course, it looks a bit small, but I suggest you to just put it on the widescreen if you want to see the actual size. And so let's say that you're happy with this starting point. You want to move everything to Figma. There is now a Figma plugin here at the top. It says a Figma plugin. You don't have to click on that, but it just shows you the, uh, the Figma uh, plugin page. But what you can do is just go to Figma, go to your plugins, search for website style kit, and then you can import your colors and typography from the website into your Figma. So let's say that you're happy with the two color palettes over here. You can simply click on copy the JSON. As it says over here, export all the colors to the uh, Figma plugin. Then you go to your plugin and you just paste that code in here and click on import. And then here, look on the right what happens. All of your colors are automatically added to the color styles in Figma with the right naming, the right hex code. And also if you go to typography, you can do the same for your headings 
and your body tag. So copy the JSON, then go to the typography tab, click on import. There you go. All of your typography is in here, including sizes, including font family and weight. As you can see, the extra bold even got transferred. And there is a feature in here to generate a preview because here in the right on Figma, you cannot really see uh, how the fonts look. So there's also a generate heading preview, which then will give you an extra frame so you can check how it looks inside of Figma with the right sizes. Is this cool or is this cool? And it's still all free to use. I just vibe coded this whole thing uh, with Bolt. If you're interested, I love using Bolt. It's such a good platform. It uses Claude code in the background. And I did not write a single line of code to create this whole web app and the uh, Figma plugin as well. A vibe coding, of course, comes with its risk. But hey, we're dealing here with color palettes and uh, typography. There's not user data that's being stored, okay? <laughs> this is fine. You can use vibe coding for this kind of stuff. And sometimes the AI messes up and I just go a step back and then I reprompt it in a different way. And then often it just fixes it. It's incredible how good it's becoming. So I put a lot of love and effort into this tool and I'm, I'm very proud that it's still free. And what was also cool to see is that I got an email from someone that said that uh, a company actually implemented a uh, website style kit uh, to create a plugin for Divi because Divi is now also leveling up with uh, a global styling. And so as you can see in these, these screenshots that they send me, they're actually using the functionality of Website Style Kit to generate those colors and then using that inside of DV. So that was actually really cool and interesting to see. They have a whole integration with the builder. And this actually made me think of maybe it would be cool if we could somehow connect all of this with the new upcoming Elementor V4. Because how cool would it be if we could also send this data to Elementor in the same way as some other CSS frameworks are already doing? Uh, maybe we can save the color palette and the typography in our accounts. Maybe also set up font clamping. So there's a whole kind of design system. Because Elementor doesn't really provide a functionality like this. You basically have to set up everything manually. And so that's the whole reason why I made this tool. I don't just constantly want to create a color palette and a set up typography scaling. I want some help with it. So I really hope that Elementor will open up the functionality in Elementor V4 to allow developers to plug into their system so we can put this stuff to the variables and maybe even the classes. This is just an idea that I have. I don't know if I can even achieve this. Maybe some of you guys can help me. I don't know. It's just an idea. And if you have ideas to make this product better, then make sure to go to the feedback page uh, there's a general feedback tab if you think that something can be better. And there's also a feature request uh, input field right here. And lastly, there's also a change log page. So we are now actually on uh, 2.1. So if you're interested, you can also check that out. I still have to add a functionality on the website so that you guys can sign up for updates about this because some people want to get updates on this tool because quite a few people already use it. It's becoming better and better. It's just an awesome little side project for me. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then I hopefully will see you in one of my next videos.